The church joyfully commemorates the feast day of STS, Peter and Paul on June 29. This ancient tradition of honoring both saints together dates back to the year 258, bearing witness to the deep-rooted significance they hold within Christianity. As the founders of the See of Rome, their combined efforts in preaching, ministering, and ultimately sacrificing their lives for the faith shaped the very foundation of the church. Peter, originally named Simon, hailed from Galilee and toiled as a fisherman. It was through his brother Andrew, also engaged in the same trade, that Peter was introduced to the Lord Jesus. Recognizing Peter's steadfastness, Jesus bestowed upon him the name Cephas, Petrus in Latin, signifying his pivotal role as the rock on which Christ would establish his church. Bold and unwavering, Peter was the first to proclaim Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of the living God, pledging his unwavering loyalty even unto death. Despite his fervor, Peter, like any human, had his moments of doubt and weakness. Whether it was faltering in faith while walking on water or betraying Jesus on the night of his passion, Peter's humanity was ever-present. Nevertheless, Peter was chosen by Christ to shepherd his flock. The Acts of the Apostles vividly portrays his ascension to the role of the church's head following the resurrection and ascension of Christ. As the first pope, Peter guided the apostles and ensured the preservation of the true faith. In his later years, Saint Peter found himself in Rome, leading the church through turbulent times of persecution. Eventually, in 64 AD, he met a martyr's fate. In a testament to his humility, Peter requested to be crucified upside down, deeming himself unworthy to die in the same manner as his Lord. Today, his final resting place lies beneath the majestic saint. Peter's Basilica, a grand structure erected atop his burial site, serving as a lasting tribute to his profound legacy. Saint Paul, often referred to as the Apostle of the Gentiles, played a pivotal role in spreading the gospel. His letters, preserved in the New Testament, provide profound insights into his life and the nascent faith of the early church. Before embracing the name Paul, he was known as Saul, a zealous Pharisee who actively persecuted Christians in Jerusalem. Historical accounts recount his presence at the martyrdom of Saint Stephen, the first Christian martyr. It was during Saul's journey to Damascus, with intentions to persecute the Christian community, that a transformative encounter occurred. Engulfed in a radiant light from heaven, he was thrown from his horse, temporarily blinded. A voice called out to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Saul, bewildered, asked, who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Upon reaching Damascus, Saul underwent baptism and witnessed the restoration of his sight. Embracing his new identity, he adopted the name Paul and devoted the remainder of his days to fervently spreading the gospel to the Gentiles across the Mediterranean. Paul's unwavering commitment to his mission led him to endure imprisonments and trials. Ultimately, in 67 AD, he faced martyrdom, being beheaded in Rome. His final resting place is enshrined within the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls, a sacred site where his memory is cherished. In a poignant sermon delivered in 395 AD, St. Augustine of Hippo eloquently expressed the shared significance of STS, Peter and Paul. He proclaimed, both apostles share the same feast day, for these two were one, and even though they suffered on different days, they were as one. Peter went first, and Paul followed. And so we celebrate this sacred day sanctified by the blood of these apostles. Let us embrace their beliefs, their lives, their labors, their sufferings, their preaching, and their unwavering faith.